no expectations really, just um, you know, want to enjoy it for, for what it is and, um, and have fun really. Patty Mills is back in town, but as a member of the Brooklyn Nets, and you know he will still get a loud ovation from Spurs fans and big board sports. Back at full strength, the Spurs will host the Brooklyn Nets tonight. Wednesday night was the first time since December 23rd. Spurs head coach Greg Popovich had every member of the rotation healthy and available, including his starting five. That's a span of 13 games and a lot of lineup changes. The Spurs went 3-10 and 10 during that stretch. Now the entire team is back, and DJ hopes it will stay that way. We need, we need everybody, uh, but that's out of our control, you know, especially you guys know that. Uh, with this COVID thing going on, we just got to stay safe and, you know, watch what we have around each other and, you know, make sure, you know, we're all just doing the right thing uh, and, and trying to avoid, you know, catching COVID. The big news tonight is the return of Patty Mills, his first game back in San Antonio since he signed with the Nets as a free agent this past offseason. Patty is still extremely popular with the fans of the Silver and Black, and not just for his play on the court, helping the Spurs win their last NBA title in 2014, but his commitment during the community, especially for what he did for San Antonio businesses during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, we caught up with Patty this morning at TMI where the Nets held shoot-around. Yeah, I think just being able to um, stay in the moment, stay in the experience. Um, I think that's going to be important for me to just try and soak it up as, as much as I can. Um, you know, I put a, a decade worth of, um, you know, passion and, and pride into being able to represent the Spurs the, the right way and, and the Spurs way. Um, and I think being amongst the community and getting involved with with the community of San Antonio was, was what made that special. So um, um, no expectations really, just um, you know, want to enjoy it for, for what it is and um, and have fun really. Tonight also marks the return of big man LaMarcus Aldridge, who spent five plus seasons with the Spurs before the two sides decided to part ways. Spurs and Nets will tip tonight at 7.30. Nets' Kevin Durant is out with a sprained MCL in his left knee. Pro football coverage, powered by Davis Law Firm. Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott was fined $25,000 by the NFL following his comments about the officiating in the Cowboys' 23-17 loss to the San Francisco 49ers. In particular, his comments after he was asked about fans throwing trash at the officiating crew as they left AT&T Stadium as time ran out on the Cowboys' comeback. On that last play, Dak ran a quarterback draw, but by the time he took the slide and tried to get up, time ran out because the umpire still had the down the ball. Now you can see him, the umpire, crash into Dak and the line in order to get to the ball. Now Dak said credit to them, the fans, when asked about the fans' reactions. So Dak fined for pretty much speaking the truth, but in the heat of the moment. Yeah. He wasn't happy. No. <laughs> but I don't know condoning that was a was a good was a good thing. I mean I know how he <laughs> yeah. felt, yeah. but you see it. And I'm not sure twenty five thousand dollars, that's like pfft, got that in his pocket. Nothing. Really? Mm -hmm. Speaking of uh, speaking of big bucks and people worth a lot of money, <laughs> Mike and Fiona, <laughs> what are you guys up to? Uh, Howdy, y'all! Yes, that's right. Well, it's cold outside, so we have some great indoor activities for you to do this weekend. Yep, the Rustic Rush, great, uh, great fun place to go to. And Ray Chavez, the owner of the Hollywood Park location, Thank you've you. got a great tip about the tip of a nail. Yes, sir. Got a great tip for you today. If you're ever worried about splitting the board, I'm sure we've all experienced that. You hammer in a board and it splits open on you, so you flip the nail op op upside down, smash that pointy tip, make it dull, and now you've turned it into a drill bit, and you don't have to worry about splitting that wood anymore when you nail it in. Oh my gosh, there we go. It's Learn little, something new every day. Yeah, it's the little <laughs> thing. So, great day. Now, we've got some really fun stuff to make as rodeo is coming up. Believe it or not, it's going to be just two weeks. And Jen is getting her weekend started early. We're all living vicariously through you. <laughs> Yes, it's a family-friendly Friday. How about that? If you're planning your weekend, we've got the perfect spot just north of the Pearl. They've got great drinks, great food, free live music, and games too, guys. Oh, come on. There we go. Back to you. <laughs> and if you want something indoors this weekend and, you know, kind of enjoy this interactive, immersive art experience, we take you to Hopscotch, which is right next door to Travis Park in downtown. Great date night spot too. Okay, very fascinating looking in there. Mm -hmm. So the ball pit and then, is that just, is, it almost looks like a cave or something. Mm-hmm. Huh, that's neat. Okay, social question. This is one of those that just because. 
dating site. You gotta put your picture up there. What if your pet was on a dating site? What picture would they post? Show us. Welcome back. It's 42 degrees. We'll be up around 48 this afternoon. Get ready for a very cold night. Temperatures down to 28 by tomorrow morning. 53 on Saturday, 52 on Sunday. Cloudy. Expect a chance of rain Monday morning with a high of 58 on Monday. 48 degrees. Is that warm enough for you, Courtney? You know, it's good for me. It's good <laughs> okay. for me. I'll take it. Oh, I appreciate you guys letting me hang out with you, too, today. Thanks for being here. Enjoy <laughs> that it. That's all we have for now. For us, for to now. To for now. to now. <laughs> to now. See, it's I cold. It's cold in here, causing you to. You know, you know what? I did so well for an hour. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say life starts right now. <laughs> Sounded very Shakespearean. For two now. Here we go. <laughs> All right, today on SA Live, we head to the backyard on Broadway for some afternoon sips and grub and show you what this fun loving restaurant has to offer. Woo! Well, it is a fun, interactive, artsy experience that would make a great date night. We're going to show you where. And find your happy space with a colorful home office makeover. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Well, hello and happy Friday. Oh, are those fries still warm? That's what I'm wondering, being outside like that. Doesn't matter, that still looks good. Yeah, Jen's getting her weekend off on a good note right there with that big old burger backyard Broadway. We're going to be heading out there in just a second. Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> Made it through the cold yesterday. It's still kind of chilly, but it is still chilly right today. Corner. Yes, indeed. I'm Mike Osterhage. <laughs> and I'm Fiona Garcia. Well, it's time to gear up for rodeo season. Yep. And Ray Chavez, co owner of Rustic Brush in Hollywood Park, joins us to make some DIY rodeo themed decor projects. Good afternoon, mm -hmm. sir. It's creeping up on us. A couple weeks, right? Wait. The, the mm -hmm. parade, mm -hmm. the cattle driving parade, is, to, is two weeks from tomorrow. Golly. All right. Believe it or not. Okay. <laughs> what are we making for rodeo? Well, we're all ready for you. Over we're at the Rustic Brush in Hollywood Park. We're going to make a clock here today and also a doormat. But if you look around, uh, all of these pieces that you see hanging, you can do those in our shop. And you're going to make them yourself, and it can be customized with your name, family name, uh, anniversary date. Okay, a lot of people looking at this going, well, I don't have that good a penmanship. I can't paint like that. But you don't really have to, do you? You, you really don't. You know, we, we found out that we will be your training wheels through the whole process, and we will help you come come in and just enjoy it just relax have some fun with some family you can also bring some drinks and some food and just have a good time and we're going to help you make sure that your project comes up absolutely beautiful so and this is oh go ahead and that's the thing is when when folks pick a project they you guys provide all the materials right yes ma'am we, we get all the wood i'll cut all the pieces we get it all ready you just come in what you're going to do is you're going to sand it you're going to pick a stain color and then you're going to apply your stencil and then we're going to paint that and then the end result is uh, what you see around you in this, this clock that we put together. And see, uh, and you, you did the hardware in the back. Yes. <laughs> yep. And uh, and then you can, when you pick a design or a stencil, you can customize it, right? Yes, ma'am. Yep. You can customize it to your, but you can put anything. Mm -hmm. You can come up. We, we can even do team logos. So if you wanted your favorite NFL team, mm -hmm. uh, college oh, teams, or your high school local teams, high school right. teams, we can make those because we're not selling it to you. You're making it. We're mm -hmm. teaching you. We're teaching. Basically, it's a studio that we're teaching you how to make these things. So you're going to make it yourself, and so we can we can actually do those logos, no problem. And, and how far in advance? We need at least 24 hours so that we could prep all of this stuff, get the wood cut, get everything uh, taken care of, your stencils printed and ready for you. So what I was going to say as far as stencils, mm -hmm. like you do a lot of team building there too. So if we yeah. wanted to do a, an SA Live team building, we could get the SA Live logo printed and paint that on there, right? Yeah, you can come in SA Live, you can come and put it right on a charcuterie board and we collaborate with, yeah. the, uh, with the lady that does the charcuterie and, she, and you'll actually get a board that you made with a custom stencil paint, uh, paint job and then you'll get a nice plate of food there. Uh, that you get to take home. They really, everybody really enjoys those. Matter of fact, we're going to have one tomorrow at uh, in the afternoon. I believe at two or three o'clock tomorrow, and uh, it's a charcuterie class that you can still sign up for too. Oh, wow. And if somebody say wants to make a project, um, they can actually take it home, right? You have kits. Oh yes, that's mm -hmm. right. We can, you know, with Corona, we're we're always trying to find uh, ways to 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 get people. Uh, you know, the projects are always coming in and asking questions and we told them you know we can take it home if you feel more comfortable uh taking it home we'll get it all together in a kit paint everything you need 
and then you can take that project home and do it right there in your house. A lot of folks do pizza night on Friday night with the kids and everything like that. You can do that there too. You can bring pizza yep. with you or order it, have it delivered right there and just have a little family time for a couple exactly. hours, Exactly. Right? It could be date night, just you and your, and your wife, or it could be your family members, uh, up to 30 people. We can have up to 30 people and there's really, you know, there's no minimum. You can, it could just be you and and, and and a friend. We've had people order pizza. Yeah. You know, we've seen it all. You know. And BYOB? And BYOB. Yeah. Hey. I, I like that. And we are doing uh, rodeo designs and talking about rodeo, this gentleman knows about it because you used to be a bull rider? A long time ago, yes sir. <laughs> <laughs> when you were 16 you started? Yes, when I was 16 years old. Yep, in northern New Mexico, my buddy and I, uh, we decided it would be a good idea to start bull riding in it was what? fun. It was a lot okay. of fun. That, that's a phrase you don't think you, a good, good idea. idea. To I was start just about to say, riding. was it yeah. good? Really? Was it a good idea? Well, you know the things you do when you're in high school, when yeah. you're 16. Mm -hmm. But it was a lot of fun. You know, I, I, I got through it. The only thing I got was a broken rib, so I think I was pretty fortunate. Yeah. yeah. The nice. only thing was a broken rib. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you want to head on out there to the uh, the rustic brush again, just go online and whatever design you want. If you want one of the, the stock ones right there, yep. it can be. I mean, any of these things, which are going to be oh, great little, little not only one. crafts mm -hmm. but uh, gifts, good yep. little housewarming gifts, fun little things to decorate with all the way through rodeo, or just because, right? Yes, sir. We can make games. You can make bottle openers. These multi-board signs. Uh, the charcuterie boards, like we said, and we also we do specialty. Thing. We, you can do the uh, the mats, clocks. I mean, it's unbelievable. You get on the website, and the menu is uh, is unbelievable. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, if you'd like more information about the Rustic Brush over there in Hollywood Park, just head on over to salive.com and click on the SA Live tab or just snap the QR code that is uh, on the screen right now. You can find out more information about that. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Happy rodeo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Switching gear, well, mm -hmm. kind of talking about animals, pets. We all love our pets. We all have pictures of our pets. Fiona has a picture of her pet on the phone. <laughs> but what if your pet was on a pet dating site? What would be their picture that they would post? Cash? All right, this is Cash. He's my shepherd husky mix, six years old, 77 pounds. He's lost some weight, looking a little svelte right there. <laughs> like walks that, on the beach? Yes, long walks to the fridge, yeah, actually. Well. Yes. <laughs> so that... That would be his, his photo. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what would your <laughs> pet's photo be? Please send us in, because we're going to have a whole lot of fun with this one, I think so. Oh, here we go. This is oh. from Melissa. <gasps> Twix loves the finer things in life and cozy nights on the couch. I love the profile shot right yes. there. Very, very regal mm -hmm. looking. Okay, this is Sweetie Belle, and she is as sweet as a flower. Look at her face. Oh. Ooh. Yes, this is Stevie, <laughs> and he wants only the best. <laughs> Looks it. like he's in his formal wear as well. <laughs> My name is Coco. I like the finer things in life, traveling and dining out, <laughs> gifts, and lots of Look treats. at that outfit. I love it. <laughs> I don't remember having all these pictures so soon in here, so people are really loving this one. So mm -hmm. again, send it in there, and we hope to show a <laughs> lot more a little bit later on. All right, all well, right. grab your pets and head to the backyard. No, 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 not your backyard. Mm-hmm. The backyard on yes, Broadway. Yes. And that's where Jen Tobias Trusky is right now. She's checking out the backyard on Broadway. I saw a big old burger and some fries out there. That looks good, Jen. Yeah, this could be the perfect spot for a speed dating, right? For the dogs, maybe? <laughs> yes, we're out here at the backyard on Broadway, and the general manager, Ohio, joins me now. And uh, for those who don't know, you can get food as early as 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make one of the signature dishes on the menu. What are we making first? We're making the meat lover pizza. All right. First, we're going to take the sauce and lay it on there. Mm. Now, is there a certain way to start? Do you use it you in the You just start in the middle and work your way back. Okay. Probably have to do another scoop. And you guys are located here, like you said, north of the Pearl. Yeah, yeah, we're just north of the Pearl before you hit Breckenridge Park. Good to know. Plenty of parking, by yes, the way. Yes, yes, lots of parking, our own parking lot and some free city parking as well behind us. All right, and a perfect spot to come on a Friday, right? And just kind of let loose, the week's done, you can have some good food. Exactly, we got happy hour specials during the week and on the weekends. We also have live, free live music every Friday, Saturday, and an original singer-songwriter series on Sundays. Oh, nice, okay. So we've got, what is this, ham here? Yeah, we got our nice, delicious ham. And then... Do some pepperonis on there, too. Some huge pepperonis. Delicious. 
All right, and then sausage. Yep, some of our nice Italian sausage. Definitely a meat lover's pizza. And as you can see, we are outside, so there's plenty of space, uh, dog friendly, kid friendly till nine o'clock, mm -hmm. right? Till nine o'clock. And so you can come out here, they have a playground, a play area, and um, again, till nine. And then that's kind of when it's the 21 and up. And so you can have a really good time out here, right? What's the atmosphere like when you come um, and enjoy yourself here? Yeah, the atmosphere is wonderful. There's, you know, there's a whole playground set aside in the corner. So all the kids are having fun in the corner. There's plenty of space, as you can see, for the, you know, young adults and some of us older folks to hang out and just relax without having to deal with the kids. Got it. All right, so the magic of television, <laughs> we're gonna switch out here. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at this beautiful pizza. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite of this. And now let's talk about, look how beautiful this looks. What else you have here because i know this one's your favorite right ohio yeah that one's my favorite that one's our cousin vinny that's our take on a chicken parmesan sandwich and then right behind that we have a classic daiquiri and then in front of, and right next to that we have uh, what we call the classic that's just our regular basic cheeseburger hands that you know pretty straightforward nothing crazy fancy about it but it just hits the right spot and then we, right behind that we have a nice local beer so for your lunch menu, people, um, like you said, you wanted to let everyone know as early as 11, mm -hmm. right? And what are your hours? Yeah, so we're open from 11 to 11, Wednesday and Thursday and Sunday, and then Friday, Saturday, 11 to 2 p.m. or 11 to 2 a.m. And we're closed Monday and Tuesday. Because I'm time off with our families. Got it. And what other items are on the menu? Because I know we've got the pizza, the sandwiches, the burgers. Is there anything else that our customer favorites? Yeah, we got some really good desserts. We got a local made strawberry cheesecake that is killer. Um, we also have a really good Cubano sandwich, some pretty good appetizers. Our main focus on the pizza and the sandwiches, though. Um, we have some very nice artisan cocktails in addition to some local beers. All right, I have to say this pizza is so delicious. And speaking of cocktails, when we come back out here, we're gonna head inside. As you can see, like I said, plenty of space. The music, it's free, right, on mm -hmm. the weekends. Always free. And so you can come enjoy that inside, plenty of space as well. We're gonna make some cocktails, maybe see what beer they have, and maybe a little bit more food. All right, I'm gonna take another bite of my pizza. Back to you guys. Thank you, Ohio. <laughs> that Thank you. pizza looks right. really good. Oh, all right, for more information on the backyard on Broadway, just head to to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Ray from Rustic Brush mm -hmm. said he's been out there before and said it's really good, so. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Jen will be sharing cocktails from the backyard later. What's up? <laughs> Still ahead on Essay Live. Turn your home office into a happy space by giving it an organization makeover. And I take you inside an immersive art gallery with food trucks, gifts, art, and so much more. And if you're looking for a really cool date night, look no further and hop right on over here to Hopscotch in downtown, right across from Travis Park. It is a fun, interactive, artsy experience. All right, cheers, let's go. Whoa, oh my gosh, this room is incredible, you guys. And general manager John Davis of Hopscotch joins me. Where am I, John? Hey, yeah, actually, uh, welcome to Hopscotch. So we are downstairs in our art gallery. Right now, we are sitting in the room of Brooklyn-based artist, Basia. So this is her room, Rainbow Cave. Um, this is one of our most popular exhibits. In fact, I think we've had at least a dozen marriage proposals in here, so very exciting. Um, what you're seeing are actually 40,000 plastic bags I in here. I thought so. It is a little bit sobering because that is what Texas uses every two and a half minutes, but again, utilizing art to really kind of bring things to life and you know just spread the word on different items um, and you'll see a lot of that throughout hopscotch and speaking of seeing a lot throughout hopscotch tell folks a little bit about it because this is just one example right yeah absolutely so again welcome um, so we're right across the street from Travis Park um, we are in 20,000 square feet uh, and we have 14 different art exhibits so each exhibit is kind of intended to be interacted with 
in some way. So um, starting right as you come down the rabbit hole, as we call it, you will see a Dallas-based artist with this phenomenal um, uh, drawing all ag along the wall, and you'll see our LED ball pit. So it's a adult size LED ball pit. There are 20,000 different objects in there that you can jump in and have a good time. Great for pictures. Um, we've had our own proposals and wedding photos there as well. Uh, we've got digital based uh, art exhibits. We've got things that are really intended to kind of spark creativity, get you asking questions and really just kind of celebrating. So you're open during the day, but this is a great date night place too, Absolutely. right? Yeah, so right now we are open 12 to 10 um, most days except for Saturday. So Saturday we're from 11 to 11. Uh, we were uh, named San Antonio's best date night last year. We're in the running again for it this year. Um, but yeah, you're right. After 7 p.m. we do become um, that date night scene. So we've got a full lounge upstairs uh, that features some great craft cocktails. We have a phenomenal um, bar concept up there. Every Sunday we have a great salsa band out there, great cocktails that go along with that. Um, at least once a month we throw a Thursdays party. So that is just a great thing where we'll have drag performances out uh, either on the patio or in the lounge or even in the gallery. Once a month we'll also do uh, yoga in one of our rooms that has uh, all of our murals. It's a really great room. And speaking of space, this used to be the old Jefferson Bank? Yeah, in fact one of our exhibits is actually in what used to be the bank vault. So we've got this 4,000 pound door that is pried open um, and it's just one of those little things that you know kind of just kind of aids in the experience and really kind of sets us apart from so many things. Tell folks how they can find you on yeah, social. Definitely. So at Let's Hopscotch. So find us on Instagram. Um, that is also our website. So our website is where you can purchase tickets. You can do that online. You can do that in person as well here. Um, but let's hopscotch.com. All right. And how much are tickets? Tickets $24 to start. Um, our, our children do go for $15. And uh, yeah, we also do all sorts of, like I said, theme nights and you know different discounts and stuff. There's always something military discounts, yeah, things like that. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. For more information on Hopscotch, all you got to do is head to our website, salive.com, where we've provided a link to theirs. Cheers. All right, something else to get excited about. Just two short weeks until the first spin of the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel. So go sign up right now to be a KSAT Insider, and you could have a chance to win one of six big prizes. Everything you need to sign up is on ksat.com slash insider, and good luck. All right, I'm mixing up some cocktails here at the backyard on Broadway. We'll tell you about their happy hour. It's a late one. We'll tell you all about it. All right, and improve your home and decrease your bills. New windows, because they keep your home a lot warmer, too. How you can enter to score them for free. old windows that really just aren't doing the job anymore. You know, new windows can better protect your home from the bitter cold. And if you enter today, you could win thousands of dollars worth of new windows from Expo Home Improvement. And here to tell us more is Director of Marketing, Amanda McDaniel. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, trying to trying to stay warm on a day like this. So, OK, <laughs> how big of a difference can new windows really make in a home? Oh my goodness, they make all the difference. So a new window, you actually have more openings to your home with windows than you do anything else. Think about that, how many windows you have. And so those windows will let in cold air if they are warped, if they are stuck, if they're old or kind of pulling away from the structure. So home windows are out with energy efficiency, lowering those bills, sound quality, brightness, mood, comfort, um, curb appeal, home value. Home windows are actually a great investment into your home. Okay, what are some of the other products and services that you offer? Yeah, since 2006, Expo Home Improvement has been in business serving Texan families with window replacement, door replacement, insulation, bath remodel, shower remodel, and our very popular tub to shower conversion where we take out that old tub and put in a beautiful walk-in shower. Just kind of redoing everything. Okay, so how do you book an appointment to get somebody to come um, check it all out? 
The easiest way is to go to our website, expohomeimprovement.com. Uh, right there on our website, you can talk to a live agent. You can schedule your own appointment. Choose your date and time. Uh, you can call us and talk to a very friendly agent if you have questions and need a little bit of assistance. Any way that you want to get to us, go to our website, expohomeimprovement.com. Best place to go. Okay, now you have a big sweepstakes going on. So how much can people win and how do they enter? Yeah, so um, we can go directly to our website about halfway down on the page. It'll say enter our worn out window sweepstakes. Just click there. You can see past winners. And on April 4th, we're going to draw a lucky winner to win up to $10,000 towards your window replacement. You want to enter. And if you need a free estimate in the meantime, we would love to give you a free estimate on your windows um, so that you could be prepared because that summer is coming. It's going to be hot. <laughs> All right. Anything else we should know? No, um, you know, I mean, we have the heart on our logo for a reason, because that means we truly care about our uh, about our customers. We're here to support Texan homes and families with integrity, excellence and service. That is a bar that we want to reach every single project. So we're the company that you can trust and that will truly love you back. All right. Well, you can enter the worn out window sweepstakes right now for a chance to win up to $10,000 in free windows. Just go to expohomeimprovement.com, scroll down to the sweepstakes and click to enter. The winner will be drawn on April 4th. And to book an appointment with Expo Home Improvement, just call 210-319-4120 or visit expohomeimprovement.com. Amanda, nice chatting with you. Nice chatting with you too. Take care. Hey, how you can upgrade your work from home life with an office, a home office makeover. There's over 15 cocktails on the menu here at the Broadway, uh, the backyard on Broadway, but they also have mocktails. If you're doing a dry January, we'll tell you about those options too. Cheers to that. Beautiful, getting some blue skies out there finally, but you want to still have a nice little jacket on, especially if you're dining uh, al fresco <laughs> at Backyard Broadway. Last we saw Jen, she was finishing up her lunch. Yes, and now cheers because you've got a couple of cocktails there. What kind of drinks do they have, Jen? Yes, there's so many. They have a huge selection, and that includes mocktails if you're doing a dry January. That's what I'm trying to do. But Ohio, uh, there's so many different cocktails to choose from on your menu, right? Yes, we do. Yeah, we have over 15 options on our menu, um, all carefully curated to figure out what tastes best and what sells best. And typically, they go hand in hand. You like strong drinks, got you covered. You like sweet things, we also got you covered. Whatever you like, we can make for you. I love that. So I noticed one on the menu called the San Antonio. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to see what that is. Yeah, the San that for us? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, the San Antonio is one of my favorite ones. Um, it's very similar to a Toronto, but if you like old fashions, you would love this guy. So we're going to start with two ounces of our favorite rye. And then we're going to grab a little bit of my best friend, Fernet. And then my third best friend, Alco or Aperol. Would you say this one's a little bit stronger, huh? This one is very <laughs> much so on the strong side. Strong like San Antonio. Love it. <laughs> and then we're going to give it a stir. And you mentioned the, the menu changes pretty often, right? You kind of mix things up and yeah, absolutely. have fun with it. Yeah, our menu changes very seasonally. And then we have our San Antonio right there for you. Perfect. And what are we making next? The next thing we're going to make is one of my favorites. It's a margarita. But here, we don't do regular margaritas. We do what's called a triple threat margarita. Oh. So we use three different kinds of tequila to make this delicious for you. So we're going to start with our little fancy tequila blend here. I know people We're going to borrow the lime juice. Love our margaritas, right? <laughs> is this one of the favorites, would you say? This is one of the favorites. And then we're going to add some simple syrup. And then typically you get a margarita and you get some triple sec, but here we do orange bitters just to make it a little oh. bit different. Very nice. I always love the fresh lime juice. The fresh, fresh lime juice makes everything Every so much better. I love it. All right, look at that. Beautiful. You 
go wrong with a margarita. You never can, you especially in this it. Texas heat. It warms <laughs> you right up. Beautiful. And then last, we're going to both make the uh, next cocktail. Which one is yeah, this Yeah, the next cocktail is a cactus flower. That's our number one selling drink, and it's also one of my favorites. Okay. So we're going to start with our prickly pear vodka. Okay, this pretty color here. That guy. Not as good as him, all right? He cut me some slack, y'all. Okay. Cool, and then we're going to flip it over and go uh -huh. all the way to the top. This one? That one right there. All right, it's a pretty color. Cool. And then we're going to flip it over and go halfway. With lime? With the lime juice. More fresh lime juice. All right. And then we're going to top it with whatever sparkling water we can get our hands on. Beautiful. And this one is the? This is the cactus flower. So pretty. Now what I loved is that you have mocktails available. So that's what I'm going for here. But but what are the options for those for people who are doing a dry January? Yeah, absolutely. So we have some um, non-alcoholic spirits. So they're made of different botanicals. So we have a non-alcoholic whiskey, rum, tequila, and gin. So you can have all your classics, the old fashioned gin and tonic, margarita, daiquiri without having to have any booze in it. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Delicious. All right, it gets the job done. Again, they're located here off Broadway, north of the Pearl. Yeah, north of the Pearl before you hit Breckenridge. All right, they open at 11. They're closed Monday, Tuesday, and they go on till 2 a.m. Live mm -hmm. music tonight, tomorrow, um, Sunday. And Sunday, All yes. Right. Thank you so much. Thank Guys, you. Guys, I'm sorry you're missing out. And we still have the food, right? We didn't even get back to the food. That's Cheers. okay. Happy Friday. Cheers. Out. Was that a gin and tonic or a gin and tonic? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. We're going to take that. We'll add that to the menu. All right. Gin and tonic. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. All right. It's a good one. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I was we'll see. Still eyeballing that pizza that was sitting right there. Yes. So, yeah, All right. Good. For more information, of course, on the backyard on Broadway, head to salive.com and click on the as seen on SA Live tab. All right. Get a work from home makeover on your home office and turn your home into a happy space. Love that shot of downtown. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to SA Live, everyone, on this Friday. Well, whether by choice or not, home offices have become very popular nowadays. A lot of folks are working from home, and sometimes you just got to bring your work home with you. Yes, so if you need a budget-friendly home office makeover, we have got you covered. Our Jen Tobias Strusky is teaming up with a local designer to turn one bland office space into a happy space. <laughs> Working remotely is something many of us are continuing to do. No matter what space you may have, there's a way to turn it into the perfect home office. And that's where Carla Reuter with Carla Reuter Designs & Co. comes in. Carla, good Hi, to see you again. Jen. So great to see you. I'm happy to be here. And wow, what a transformation we're this standing This was a here. really fun one. This was, I, as so many of us are working from home nowadays, and mm -hmm. we're finding a challenge if we don't have a designated study to use. We're trying to figure out a good place to stay organized and feel good so we can stay focused and get our jobs done. And here in this home, let's talk about what this looked like before. Yes, so this is a remodeled home, and I'm guessing maybe when they added on the master suite, it created this hallway that is a little bit wider than a hallway, but not quite big enough to be a living space. Mm -hmm. So it kind of became the perfect space to set up a little home office, and this homeowner did have this desk in here, but it was kind of a storage space. It was a little discombobulated, not a very happy space, not a place you would want to sit and actually to get things done. Got it. And so now, tell me about what you've done. It looks great, but I well, want to know the process. It was really fun. <laughs> so what we did is we, we wanted it to really speak to who she is and the things that she likes. And so we took all of her items. She had all of these great items that are on the wall behind me. We had them framed in a similar white frame so that they would pop off of this black wall. The wall was painted white before. We decided to paint it black so that it would be a little more dramatic, a little more upscale. Mm -hmm. um, paint is a great way to save some money. You don't have to spend a ton on an expensive wallpaper to get a lot of drama. But we framed all her things, hung them on the wall, and I feel like it came out really well. We used a lot of her mementos as well, and I feel like the space really reflects her personality. But the key is, 
frame them all similarly, and then you want to space them somewhat evenly on the walls. Good tip there, and I love how that black just kind of pops, and then everything. Yes, it's, so there's so much easy. color. Yes, and let's talk about the lighting because this is new here too. Right, before she had just a simple flat flush mount light like you would see in most homes, and we thought bringing in this fun little chandelier brought in a little more of her personality. I like that we balanced a little of the organic natural bamboo feel mm -hmm. with all of the sleek black and white in the background. Perfect. And then I noticed the shelving behind and yes. again, all of her, it's personalized, all of her mementos, Absolutely. but she kind of organized that, right? Yes. She had all these great mementos and we were really lucky that she had these built-in shelves. I mean, who doesn't need shelves, right? Mm -hmm. So we took those things, we organized them in a way so that it feels clean and in its place and not feeling jumbled where it might kind of stress her out to be in here with so much going on. We, we brought see? in this great hand knotted uh, orange rug that I felt like was a great pop of color with all of her pieces of art. Um, I love that she has, you know, very things that make her happy, like her markers and her beautiful stapler. I always tell people, have beautiful things around you that make you feel good and make you happy, and then you might be more prone to stay and sit at that desk and get your work done. Yes, more productive. And speaking of being more productive, there is, I asked you, are there some do's and don'ts when it comes to, to finding that perfect spot for a home office? Yes. And you had a great answer for that. Yes, <laughs> so many people end up sitting at their kitchen table or their dining table. I know I, I'm guilty of doing it a lot, and so when you do that, you're so distracted by that load of laundry sitting on the sofa or the TV is on. You know, this, she doesn't have a designated steady, but yet we found this little space in this hallway and it works perfectly. I think the key here is have fun. I think you can do it without spending a ton of money. Like I said, painting one wall is so much less expensive than bringing in an expensive wood veneer or wall covering. Um, it was just an easy, fun job to do, and we used her items. And for more transformations or maybe just some inspiration from Carla, you can visit her on her website and on social media. Where yes. should they go, Carla? Website is CarlaReuterDesigns.com or Instagram, again, Carla Reuter Designs. Perfect. Thank you so much, Carla. Thank you, Jen, so much. We had fun. <laughs> So we were talking about mm -hmm. that, that black wall, which is really, really yeah. cool, but then you gotta have the big, big, giant pictures and enough to fill and that whole space. And those pops of color, right. it, it, that looks great. Which is neat because then the black becomes the frame of the pictures, basically. So. Yes. Look at you, you're so observant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be sure to check out the Happy Space tab on the EssayLive.com for more tips from me about, you know, I think, uh, <laughs> design ideas, tips, tricks, and a whole lot more. <laughs> Including the latest real estate news, just snap the QR code on your screen for a shortcut. All right, earlier, we asked you to send in pictures of your pets for their dating website if there was one. Kimberly really says this is Sheldon, snug as a bug in a rug. And Delvia says this is Bucky, just chilling out. I like that. Monday on SA Live, it's the second annual SA Live Pie Competition. KSAT's own amateur bakers compete for the best homemade pie. This year, we're hoping some new talent can take down last year's champ, our very own Mike Hosterhage. Or will a new recipe be his own undoing? Yeah, I'm not allowed to use my award-winning recipe. No, you can't do it again. Just, why not? <laughs> it won once. Hey, alien abductions, global apocalypse, nothing can stop the Smith family. We chat with two of the stars from the hit show American Dad, hear what they say about the new season and the future of the show, and that and more. Monday at 1 p.m. right here on SA Live. All right. All right. Well, we, of course, love celebrating San Antonio, and we love celebrating our fabulous crew members happy as well. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. JC, <laughs> happy birthday Sunday, right? Yeah, this Sunday. This okay. Sunday. How old are you? 37. All right. Mm -hmm. um, 37 years young. What is your favorite part about being on SA Live, aside from Fiona? <laughs> um, I think just learning about Everything. You know, okay. Every time we have a guest that comes on, they bring a unique story, you know, something completely different. And it's always something uh, like refreshing. Learn something new every day. Every day. <laughs> your least favorite part, aside from Fiona. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> I just want to say this cake is from Cakes by Felicia. She has been on the show many, many times. And if you could smell this, it is just heaven. You know, it looks like a stack of pancakes. It smells like a stack of pancakes. It smells really, but really that good. that maple buttercream cake. 
Yep, mm -hmm. and cakesbyfelicia.com. She's also uh, located as a pop up over there at Rolling Oaks Mall, too, and has been a frequent guest on our show as well. So thank you very much. And again, happy birthday, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, well, pro football is in the playoffs right now, but those players got their start on a local team somewhere. So KSAT's local expert, John Wayne Service Company, is honoring their high school player of the year. But our John Wayne player of the year, quarterback Ashton DeBose. I know your son's a great athlete, and you've probably known that for a long time, but did you ever in your wildest dreams think of, man, he's going to set a city record for touchdown passes? No. This, this is the first, and I'm super excited. I'm so proud of him. Never in my wildest dream imagined that he would set all these records and goals and win player of the year or four to player of, of the week. It's amazing. Amazing. Um, you know, there's a lot of places that you can uh, advertise your business and your company, but you guys, one of the choices that you make is, is to really feature these high school kids and, and be involved in the community. I know that's important to you, and it's important to your dad and the entire company. Uh, what does it feel like to, to, to see the joy on the faces of these kids, not, you know, being able to be seen on television and live streaming, and also uh, participate in these awards? It's a great joy and it's, you know, even like on a day like today, being able to see, you know, the great family that's behind those great players uh, because because it really takes it takes a lot. It takes a great family. It takes a lot of support for these guys to go out and do what they do. We are here with Ashton DeBose, our John Wayne Service Company Player of the Year. How does that feel, my friend? It feels amazing just to be able to, like, I don't know, my dad was about to cry. Like, damn, it, it touched me. So, yeah, it feels good, though. Well, you know, you, you've had a great season uh, individually, uh, but you got a great team around you, and they, they allow a lot of those things to happen, don't they? Yeah. Well, I want to thank them. They, they've they been there through day one since all season started, just grinding with me. All right, congratulations again. Thank you. Ashton DeBose, our John Wayne Service Company Player of the Year. Earlier we asked you, if your pet was on a dating website, share the photo they would post for their main profile pic. Kim says, this is Charlie. My mama named me after a bear she used to have because I am cute and cuddly and will win your heart over. Oh, oh hello. Hi, I'm Loba. I like the simple things in life. <laughs> like I like to get comfy on my couch and relax as much as I can because I'm a very active dog. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Why are we reading them like this? Oh. It kind of adds to it, Oh, look at this. This is, this is artistic. My name is Miko. I like long walks on the beach, squeaky toys, and chasing cats. <laughs> Very cute, you guys. Two weeks from tomorrow, mm -hmm. don't forget the Vaquero Cook-Off. It is February 5th on that Saturday, 8 to 11 p.m., 8 a.m. to 11 p.m., open to the public, and you can go to sarodeo.com Vaquero for more information. All right. And the same day, by the way, Cattle Drive Rodeo, and we'll be there. <laughs>